Hello and welcome to the 76th video in this series program of Chess Engine in C. So, the last video I cleaned, cleared up a little nasty search repetition bug and I've left the program running now for a few hundred games against different engines and time controls and with the Wimboard and UCI protocol and all seems to be okay. So, what we have to look at now is actually improving the engine a little bit because it only has a very, very basic evaluation and obviously a very basic search and I played this morning I let it run very quickly through 20 games against TSCP just to have a look at where the biggest problems are and the first problem comes with just go back one game in the PGN and go down here a bit the first problem comes with this is that as happens often with engines particularly shallow searching engines these engines were reaching this time control was one minute plus one second increment they were reaching between depth 5 and 7, both of them very similar depths for, the, for all of the games. And TSCP promotes uh, its black pawn here and wins the game as a result. And TSCP actually has very high, too high bonuses in its evaluation really for pawns promoting. But this can often, if it's playing similar strength engines, or indeed engines that search just slightly deeper, uh, allow it to win games that it shouldn't win because they don't see deep enough to see the pass pawn promotions. So Vice really lost because it has no evaluation to understand that pass pawns can be of any benefit until it sees deep enough that the pawn actually promotes, whereas TSCP gives big bonuses the further down a pass pawn is on the board. The next thing that I noted, and it's pretty obvious to, to note these things from the evaluation already because it doesn't have any, is if we come to this position in the middle of the board here, Vice has got a completely bare king. It's castled, but its king protection is non-existent. And TSCP, as usual, has worked hard to create itself some past pawns. And the game eventually gets lost fairly quickly with the king, a checking sequence coming, the king being in the open, and eventually Vice ends up being mated. So we have no evaluation whatsoever to, to leave its king at least slightly protected so we're going to need to do something about that as well obviously and one of the other really important things that's not in our search that we're going to add in this video is to do with the checking sequences every engine or every other source code you look at for an engine will most probably have a line in here that before we start, before we've determined that we don't need to return because we have a repetition or it's a draw or we've gone too deep or anything like this, before we then do anything else with the moves here, what most engines do, and we're going to add to Vice now, is say that if the side to move is in check, so if we're in check, then increase the depth by one because there's no point in, let's say we're in check and we've the opponent has sacrificed material and there's going to be a sequence now of two or three checks where the king moves, a check comes again, the king moves and then it's mate. Well if we didn't have a depth extension for being in check we would simply call quiescent search and return our static evaluation that may well beat beta and cause us to return a good score for our position when in effect we're actually getting checkmated. So like I said most engines including TSCP have this and I'm going to add the code in now as well to add this into Vice to at least give him a little bit of a chance when checks start happening on the board. So we're simply saying, are we in check? So it's exactly what was the, exactly the same line that's down the bottom here. And then I'm going to say, if we're in check, then let's increase the depth so that we can get ourselves out of check. And of course, now we don't need the call to if in check down the bottom here because we've already got the call above so we can save a little bit of process of time by doing that. So that's the first change we're going to make for this video here and I'm going to run the 20 games or so again just to see if it makes any kind of difference to the score. Of course at the when I ran these 20 games in a tournament against TSCP I think TSCP scored 13 out of 20 and 20 games is nowhere near enough to reach any kind of uh, conclusion about which engine is stronger than the other, although I could safely say TSCP is stronger simply because it's actually evaluating the position a lot better than Vice. So that's it for this tiny change to the search and this video. And in the next video we're going to start switching to the evaluation function and start adding in some of the 
features to the evaluation function that we need and we're also going to add what's called a mirror function which allows us to debug the evaluation which mirrors the position on the board and evaluates it and checks that both scores come out exactly the same so that we know that the evaluation is symmetrical. So that's the plan for the future, hope you enjoy this video and see you in the next one.